Weed of the Week is a tough perennial. It's Virginia Ground Cherry. Well, it's interesting that we're right in this particular field, Brian, because it's the first field where I ever saw Virginia Ground Cherry. When I was a kid, I thought this was Black Nightshade, and I heard my dad saying, oh, we got this new weed on our farm, Black Nightshade. It's terrible in the soybeans. We got to get it under control. Well, I didn't know what that weed was, and this one kind of had a darker color to it, and I thought, oh, well, maybe that's it. And so we did the best job we could wiping it out, and I brought some back to show dad, and I said, look, we got Black Nightshade out there, and we got it under control. And he's like, I'm glad you got that weed under control, but that is Virginia Ground Cherry and not Black Nightshade. The big difference here is Virginia Ground Cherry is a perennial weed. So if you go out there and you're trying to pull it up, you might not even be able to pull it up. Uh, the other thing that I always found with Black Nightshade when we were growing up is the Black Nightshade plants seemed to have some little holes in them, and it was a little bit more purple. But yeah, it was kind of difficult to distinguish, especially when the plants were small. Well, when you look at Virginia ground cherry, again, it's a perennial weed. So as soon as we had Roundup Ready soybeans back 20, 30 years ago, hey, no problem. We sprayed Roundup and we wiped it out. But I will say this, it does take a higher rate. And since Virginia ground cherry is kind of a smooth plant, it does take using some additives. We really saw a benefit adding a spreader sticker in with the Roundup to try to get this one under control. And keep your water rate low. We talk about it all the time with Roundup when you have plants that aren't going to absorb a lot of product, keep the water rate down, keep the roundup rate up, so you've got more concentrated droplets. You know, it's a perennial weed. We don't really see any of the pre-emerged products, unless they're burned down products, having a big effect on Virginia ground cherry. However, I would say this. If you do use the three pre's in soybeans, you've got less other weeds out there, so it's easier to get that coverage on Virginia ground cherry. And then really the only thing that's 100% effective is roundup. When we go to corn, I look at status works pretty well. Certainly dicamba or 2,4-D in the appropriate crops for soybeans will work fine. And then when we go over to wheat, yes, you certainly could use some 2,4-D. Personally, I would suggest using some husky to just burn it back, but start with sharpened pre-emerge. Start with a pre-emerge program of some type of burn down thing, usually just a high rate of Roundup. Well, that's all the time we have for our Weed of the Week Virginia Ground Cherry, but Iron Talk is coming up next.